Next, we're going to talk about demiplia. Demiplia is the most important thing you're going to learn in classical ballet. It's very important that you master your demiplia. You're going to, every movement in the classical ballet is going to start from demiplia. All your jumps, all your turns, everything. So pay really a lot of attention. And again, it requires a lot of good turnout to execute properly demi plia. So, demi plia in the first position, we're gonna do a preparation of the arm. So arm is gonna go E1, E2, and opens to the second position. Head is gonna go and shift front, okay? So elbow is gonna side, we're gonna go slowly, E, four counts, one, two, three, Four. Again, E, one, two, three, four. Now, very important, when you do a demi plia and when you start the demi plia, first of all, again, we go into the pronation of the feet. Second, when you start a demi plia, you need to really engage those back muscles right here. Now, the thing is, if you have the flexibility, you should pretty much relax your hips and let the knee follow to the turnout position. If you don't have a turnout, what's gonna happen, you're gonna push the knees here, and then you're gonna start forcing it to open the legs, which is kind of harder because you're actually locked right here. You can't open your knees when your knees are front already. So it's very important that you actually rotate, and then you start opening into the demi plia and up. Tailbone always have to go right where your heel is when you're doing demi plia. Another thing is, if you have a very flexible back, you might have a tendency to lean like this. You have to keep your body above your hips. And then from here, you're gonna stretch. So that's your first position, demi plia at the bar. Now we're gonna shift to the second position. Leg is gonna go tonzu, you're gonna stretch. You're still standing on the left leg, and as you roll, your foot through the half toe, you shift the hips on both legs. We don't stand on the back, uh, left leg or right leg, we stand on both legs. So very important that you keep those two hips. And we're gonna go same concept. You open the knees immediately, E1 to the side, E four counts and up. Again, E1, two, three, four. It's very important that you really do it slow for beginning four counts, that your muscles understand you're guiding them where it needs to be. If you do it fast, you're not gonna understand what's going on and then muscles not gonna learn. So it's like language, you know, when you try to speak a new language, you say it slowly. And then you slowly, when your mouth gets used to your muscles, you start speaking faster and faster and faster. The concept of the classical ballet is pretty much the same thing. It's a new language for your body, okay? Now, next, we're gonna shift into the, from here, Tanzu, which is, we know already how to shift. E, head is gonna go one, and shift fourth position. Again, the fourth position, most difficult plia. So left arm, again, it has to be in front. Right hip has to be back. Now, you see how I keep that hip and then she's opening the shoulder, which is this hip and this shoulder have to be matching together. And the straight line has to go right hip between the legs. So again, we don't shift here or here. We stand on the both legs. All right. So, we're gonna do it demi plia in the fourth position. Again, both knees gonna open. Do not lift the heels. Try not to see what she's doing right here. She's rolling. We wanna keep that up. And from the hip, not from your knees, from the hip, you have to rotate immediately to the side, trying to keep the hips in place. Now, if you look at the mirror and you see your left butt cheek, 
that's incorrect. You have to hide with your right hip so nobody can see that, okay? It means your hips are aligned with your shoulders. So very important again, when she opens the right hip, see what shoulder does? We wanna keep the shoulder in front. It means the arm you always wanna keep in front of you, okay? So from here, E, Tan Zhu, E, close fifth position. Very important, guys. One more time, go from the fourth position to fifth. E goes Tan Zhu, that you do not push the hip here or front. You stay very tall, 90 degrees from the floor, your leg, and then you pull through the half toe, E close, fifth position. So you really need to elongate on your supporting leg when you're going up, okay? So again, keeping here, we still have that hip front. Yeah, there we go. And we have to open that knee. Now, you wanna feel with your thighs crossing, not pushing the knees against, she's doing that a little bit, but really crossing from the thighs, squeezing the butt, yeah, not sticking that out too much and not tacking too much, but keeping the hip placement, that's why we have a belt, so you're standing in a really uh, proper position, okay? Body again up a little bit, long neck, and goes Demi, one, Press, 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 E, stretch. Very important that you open the left. When you open the left, right side wants to go forward and you have to open the right side. Very important, guys. Do not tense when you do demi plie. You literally have to relax your hips for them to open, but you need to find how to use those back muscles to push those knees back. Now. Again, you have to be either very flexible in butterfly or do our stretch class where we talk about how to really find those muscles. You never done this, it's the first thing, first time for you, so you have to find those muscles and teacher should guide you, let you know if you're using them properly or not using them properly. So make sure you really go through that. E, we're gonna go Demi again, one, keeping right hip, and stretch, and we're gonna finish allongé, E, close head, one more time, arm goes allongé, E, head down, E, up. So that's the demi-plia for Vaganova level one.